Hello, Evan Rain here out in the uh, shop here today, and wow, it is not very nice outside. I don't know if you can hear the barn creak and hear the wind is blowing. It's uh, like a 13 degree uh, wind chill out there. I don't know what happened to the nice weather we had outside, basically no coat on, but uh, that weather apparently is gone. Welcome to uh, Michigan. Uh, anyway, today everyone, I want to work on a couple things here. Back on this uh, fuel storage thing we got here. Back on the fuel tank we have here, if you remember from last uh, video there, put some JB Weld on that. Looks like that turned out quite nicely. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, sander here, we're just going to sand down the whole thing, throw some uh, paint out. Got a can of uh, just flat black paint here. Uh, I do have better paint, unfortunately, I don't have any of the uh, thinner, or uh, it's urethane reducer, the reducer I guess it's called, uh, to use that paint here at the moment. Got a couple cans of it up there, I was actually looking at that. You can see there's one right there and then there's one right there. I've got dark gray and black. Really good, you know, really good paint, right? But uh, I don't have the stuff to use it with. And uh, at least in Michigan here, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get my hands on the stuff I need for that. So unless I can get it shipped, uh, which then means I'm going to have to wait like a week or two or if the place that uh, makes the stuff is even open. Because, uh, yeah, if you live in Michigan, everyone, uh, yeah, Michigan's really shut down here at the moment due to the uh, human malware that's going on. Uh, yeah, if you know, if you live in Michigan, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, also, if we get a chance today too. Also, want to work on this here, everyone. Uh, we'll we'll get to that here once we get to that. Uh, pretty good there. Uh, see if I can straighten these out here real quick a minute and I'll probably spray it down with some brake cleaner just wipe it off and I'll probably wait till I'm done with a tractor here before I paint it that way I can paint it and uh, leave. Uh, I was stuck in the uh, barn here with the paint fumes. Let's see what's here. Probably just a adjustable here. Should do the trick I would think. How about one of these here doohickeys? Stick that on there. That should uh, straighten it out pretty easy I would think. Yeah, 
And a little more yet. Looks good enough. Now, okay, this side looks like this side's bent a little bit more. Good enough for government work. Okay, we're on to the uh, tractor project here. And we'll come back to the painting here when we're done with this one, hopefully. Uh, what I want to do is see if I can move this piece out here a little bit. If you look at this side, uh, that side there is pointing out. Uh, this side is pointing in. And the uh, problem with this is it's hitting right down here when you turn all the way. So it's hitting, I guess it'd be this piece right here up against there. And I don't like that. So we're going to see if we can adjust it out. I don't know, maybe an inch or so. Uh, when we measure this, I think this one was 22 inches long. This one was 23 inches long. So if we can maybe make this one about 23 inches long here as well. Now, I don't know I don't know if I can adjust it here or not because it looks like this one's probably about an inch apart. So that would probably literally be about perfect if I can take this bolt out, move it out an inch, and we might be able to call that good. So I'm maybe going to try that. I don't know if that will work, but uh, I'm going to try that. And also, I don't know how this comes off. I'm not sure how or... Yeah, I don't know how hard that's going to be to get off. That might be uh, that might be more of a problem than I think it is. But uh, maybe I better start there first. Take this off. Take that off. Or see if I can get this off. If not, then uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go very far. First things first. Let's round up some tools for this uh, job here. Probably uh, impact. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then we're probably gonna need some sockets here as well. Nice thing about this tractor, all standard. Yes, none of that uh, communist uh, nonsense going on on this tractor. Well, let's see, one fifteen sixteenths for that one. And what do you think, inch? Inch and an eighth. Let's see what's here. What is this one here? Inch. Nope, inch and an eighth, I bet. Which is this one? Inch and an eighth? Yep, inch and an eighth for that one. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll take that one off first. And seeing as how we just had this off here this uh, past Saturday, I would think this would come off fairly easy. We'll just put that nut back on there, give it a good hit. There we go, I do believe. Pretty sure it fell out anyway. Yeah, that's going out. There we go. Now, question is, will this uh, beast come off? Okay, we got some sort of splined shaft there, it looks like. That's interesting. Okay, but well, I don't know if this is going to work, but I got a puller on it, see if we can pull it off. Also, I don't know if it's going to work for me to be able to rotate this the way I was thinking, because it looks like this is on a splined shaft, which means if I rotate it to the next notch over, it's going to be like way over. So that begs the question, how is that one able to be cocked in? Well, this one over here is cocked out. That's what we need. This is not what we need. I, I don't know how we uh, rectify that uh, problem, but uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's see if this will come out. Oh my goodness. I need something bigger. Well, I mean, I'm not sure what else I can do here. I've got this thing on about as tight as I dare go. I, I literally can't turn it anymore with the wrench I have. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to get a bigger one, which I could do, but I don't think that'd be a good idea. So anyway, I got some mouse milk soaking on it here at the moment. Uh, I believe it was uh, Jim here a while back recommended this stuff. I've used it a couple times. Seems like it works pretty good. So I'm thinking we'll just let that sit like that with that mouse milk on it, uh, with the pressure on it. I think that's about all I can do for now, everyone. Well, before we wrap it up here, I'm going to shoot some paint on this, and then uh, we're going to call it. So I just uh, got some flat black here. Uh, like I said, I would like to put the better paint on it, but that's, that's what I have. So, oh well, that's what it's going to get. Okay, well, there we go, all painted. I'm gonna abandon ship here because it smells a little bit like uh, paint in here. And then, everyone, we're gonna wrap it up. So again, everyone, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe.